Howdy, everyone. Where have you been? I'm going to take this opportunity to take a break, make videos whenever the hell I want, and not be held down by a schedule. So yeah, I decided to take some time off. Uh, but stick to the end of the video. I do have a major announcement after all this. Shortly after announcing that I wasn't going to make streams content anymore on Twitch, my uh, stepmother passed away. Most people aren't that attached to their step parents. Um, but I want to give some context on why that affected me so much. My, my stepmom was my main inspiration for getting into gaming as much as I did. Hell, my online namesake is a tribute to her and has been since I was nine years old. She's the reason why I love gaming as much as I did. When I was a kid, she worked at uh, Best Buy. I don't know if it was a distribution center or so it was something that was one of the bigger buildings. But Blockbuster, man, it was a, that was <laughs> oof. That was a thing back in the day. God, I'm old. But for my ninth birthday, she got me a Virtual Boy. Hang on, a Virtual Boy that I still have in its case. In its entirety. <laughs> the foam's a little worn out uh, because of, you know, traveling and moving and stuff. But this thing's almost as old as I am. Almost. By, by about nine, ten years. <laughs> uh, and it still works is the cool thing. It, it, it's, it still works. But that's just the beginning of the legacy of my stepmom. Board games, dice games, tabletop games, gaming in general is how her and I bonded. And she loved anything to do with like management games like Sims, SimCity, her absolute favorite game of all time. And you could probably guess by the name of my channel was Pac-Man. She played that thing day in, day out, when she was able to get it on her PC, that's literally the only thing she played, was that and Mahjong or Free Cell. Like, old school Windows gamer, right? But it was seeing her dedicate so much time into those games and then learning the games that I was playing as a child that really stuck with me. So my username since I was about seven or eight years old has been some variation of SK Pac-Man. And that's specifically in remembrance and dedication to my stepmom who forwarded my love of gaming so much. My dad played a role in that. My brother played a role in that. But my stepmom really solidified that. Losing her was like losing a big chunk of my past. The one thing we always agreed on is playing games. So that loss hurt a lot, and I'm still dealing with that. Then a little over a week ago from recording this, uh, my dog died. <laughs> so I've had a lot of loss in the past few weeks, ever since announcing I'm leaving Twitch. My dog, her name is Sadie, She's a tree walker coonhound. Was the fastest, long-legged, jumpiest thing you ever seen. She loved to chase stuff. At one time, we had chickens at our previous place, and she loved to bother those chickens. She actually, she actually ate one of them at one point. But she was always happy and joyful and full of spirit, and she died from, I forget what the, the name of the chemical is in chocolate that dogs can't have, but she ate some chocolate that one of the kids left on the floor, and I didn't clean it up right away. And we thought that we broke her of eating chocolate off the floor, and the specific toxicity that dogs get when they eat chocolate, sometimes it doesn't immediately kill them. Sometimes 
it looks like it worked its way out of the system, but I forget the name of the chemical. I'll probably put it on screen here somewhere. It'll actually settle in their brain and their kidneys, and they go from super sick to feeling better and playing and doing their usual dog thing to slowly degrading over time. And over the last two months, she had gone from happy seven-year-old dog doing regular dog things to head pressing and pushing into corners and acting like she was blind and not chasing anything. And then she slowly degraded from there where she wouldn't get out of her chair. She wouldn't get up to go potty. She wouldn't get up to eat. I had to bring water to her. I had to physically carry her outside to go potty. It was terrible. So the last few weeks have, I've been dealing with a lot of loss and a lot of stress. Uh, on top of that, I have jury duty <laughs> this week. Like I can't catch a break, man, but I do have an announcement. I, I have something on my mind that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. So something I've been wanting to work on for a very long time. I didn't have the push to do it. I didn't have the time to do it. I didn't, I didn't have the want to learn to do this for a long time, but what I've been doing instead of streaming on Twitch is I'm making a video game. I'm not going to give out any details about what it, what the game's about, what engine it's in, any of that stuff yet. Right now I'm learning. I'm in the learning phase. I've never made a game before. Uh, I've worked in 3d software. I've worked in programming and combining that in a, uh, game engine. It should be a no brainer. Yeah. There's a lot to learn. What I don't know how to do is graphic arts, 2d art, like texture mapping and stuff like that. Uh, and audio, I can do most of everything else. Eventually I'm going to need voice actors, uh, for three or four different voices. I'm trying to find environmental sounds and music and stuff like that to go in it. It's not going to be a very big game. Uh, there's just a lot of little moving parts with the game that I'm working out. I have a big old roadmap on Trello, which I'm not going to share, <laughs> but when I have more information that I'm able to give you, when I'm comfortable giving you guys, I will let you know. I'll make a dedicated video to showcasing what the game is. Just for now, know that when I'm not making videos and I'm not streaming, I'm working on a video game that I've been wanting to make for like seven years now. So if I seem to be missing at some point, <laughs> that's probably what I'm working on. So thank you all so much for watching and hanging out. I appreciate everyone. Um, Oh, the recent videos that have blown up, that's that's you guys. That's not me. Uh, that's all you guys watching the video, supporting the channel. Uh, I didn't want to keep that momentum going. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I have so much planned for this channel. I have so many different things written out for it. And that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next one.